Yo, what is up, Teddy Ruxpin and Betty Buckskin? I don't know. Um, today, we're going to be doing a double axle grease build, and this is actually part two. Um, this is part one, and uh, I already put a video out for this, and this is an incredible, incredible build that was done by Dr. Oblivion of TFW 2005. And this is a double axle grease build, and um, I liked it so much that after I built it, I took some liberties, and I made my own version over here, and this is the one that we're going to be doing today. Um, I'll provide a link to the tutorial for the first one in the description, but for now, let's get on with it, okay? So, uh, yeah, I just want to say I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing okay. I've been creating content for the past, like, two, three hours, <laughs> meaning, like, not building, but actually just putting videos uh, videos down and stuff like that, and uh, I'm getting kind of tired, and I think I'm going to bounce really, really soon right after this. So, we start with this torso, and we pop this open, and we have another torso prepared over here, and um, normally the way, the way uh, this would all look like is, if you were going to put this in alt mode, this would be folded down, and then the legs would be folded forward, and that's it. So imagine you're you're just unfolding this from alt mode, right? And then from here, we want to collapse the... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 you do. You want to close this up, and you want to keep it like this. And then you're going to take these little slots or tabs and plug them into the slots on the door. And after you do that... Yeah, I like this bit a lot. Yeah, so it's a nice, compact little torso and um, backpack, yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I was gonna say going back to the content and stuff. I mean, it's not it's not that there's a dearth of content. I mean, there's still tons of it, but not gonna lie, I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna leave you all without like I, I feel like a parent leaving leaving kids without food to eat in their you, you know when they're going off or something. They're like, all right, so so I made dinner, I put it in the fridge, it should be a freezer, it should be good for two weeks, okay? Like. <laughs> Like, and, and if you run out, make sure you order takeout or, or whatever the case may be. I mean, like, dude, there's still tons of content, like, un, in the unlisted in the unlisted section. Even when I went to Vietnam last year, I um I was gone for three weeks. And I was still putting out, like, shorts and just regular videos daily almost uh, just because there's just so much content. I build way faster than I can record, you know. And so, um, I mean, and, that, and that's a, a nice problem to have. Uh, and by the way. You saw what I did, right? I just plugged in the axle grease legs, and now we're going to, these are going to be effectively the, the knees and, and thighs, and these are going to be the, the shins. And so, um, but yeah, dude, I, I, I build way more than, than I can put out in terms of video. I mean, if I got any, like, bigger, honestly, like, I don't ever think that this is going to be a full-time job or anything like that. Uh, but if I ever got to that particular scale, I don't know, I may need someone to run production, you know? Like make videos with, with 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 the content that I create. Did you hear what is that? Whip with 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 sound like some like a DJ or something like work it work it. Um, but yeah, so you saw what I did, right? Chevron over here, the exhaust. Then I put in axle grease, as special, uh, very very cool accessory. And then we have the the engine exhaust over here, and this is forming like a foot, a faux foot, if you will, a foot. Um, and then from there. We're plugging that in like this. And yeah, I think that's cool. I really like the contour and the silhouette behind that. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Always trying to make sure y'all got content to consume. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I don't know. Maybe one day. I mean, like, I, I know some, like, uh, my, my homie who's a big-time YouTuber. Like, he has produ production staff and stuff. And uh, but I'm certainly not at that level. I'm certainly not at that level. And who knows? I mean, I kind of like doing these videos it just takes up time. You know what I mean? The most precious currency that we all have and uh, everything costs time. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. And so we've done that for both sides now. And so now he has his regs. <laughs> Um, hold on for a second. There's a bit of a clearance issue that I'm trying to negotiate. Okay. That's how he looks right now, or she looks right now. I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Got the missile toes, get it? <laughs> um, in order to make the chest, oh man, this is so cool Dr. O did. He plugged these in over here to start revealing new connection, um, Connection methods, uh, such a cool idea, such a cool idea. And that's why I encourage everyone to, uh, you know what, I'm going to just add some pieces of paper because I think it's a little loose. Um, 
That's why I encourage everyone, build everyone's stuff. If you have the parts, build everyone's stuff, build and grow, build, then measure, measure the different things that happened uh, as you were building, like measuring the, measure the effectiveness, measure how much you like it. And, and if you put it up in the ether on the internet and stuff like that, measure the results. Um, and then you learn, you learn from it. And then you take those learnings and then you reapply it when you build and the cycle starts all over again. Build, measure, learn, build, measure, learn. That's the name of the game. That's how we evolved, you know. That's that's like the scientific method too, you know. All right. Yeah, because the build part is the hypothesis and the test, and the measure part is looking at the results, and then you figure out, you learn what works, what doesn't work. So we got we got that all in there. And then next, I love, 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 blah, 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 blah. I love this part, what he does with the chest. Um, he, he does such an incredible job. I'm talking about Dr. Oblivion uh, with the chest designs for these figures. Um, such a neat gimmick, such a neat gimmick. And then he has the the front of these tips, the chest bits lining up like that. That's so tight. That's so tight. I love that. Love that. And so uh, for this remix of a build, what we're doing is, uh, so Dr. O's, you, you popped off the forearms, but we're not popping off the forearms. What we're going to do is we're just going to rotate them. And if you're wondering, like, dude, how did you just rotate that without the arms popping off? Um, there's a trick. When you rotate it, don't make the force, um, don't place all the force on this hinge. What you want to do is you want to push up. You want to push up into the arm. And when you do that, it's a lot easier, right? So we're going to push up, spin that around. And then I'm trying to remember exactly what I did. I'm looking at the pictures right now. And uh, oh, okay, okay, I think I know what I did. We're getting this, and then we are plugging it into the fist. And then the fist uh, this is not a great fit. So you know what? Let me try flipping the fist upside down so there's a bit more mass for it to connect into. Oh, yeah, that, that's much better. That's much better. Um, so, yeah, you want to make it so that the thumb is pointing downward. Ow. <laughs> there we go, Johnny. Almost done, I think. And so in terms of like, hmm, I want the arms a little bit lower, so I will twist the fists a little bit more. And maybe even this forearm bit, which just popped off despite me saying all of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That helps a lot. Yeah, for uh, my version, the, the arm connections are not as nice as as his. But um, yeah, whatever, dude. I'm just having fun. Just having fun in the sun. Um, and I got these. I think I just put them up here. I mean, we could put them on the forearms too. We could put them anywhere, really. However you want to build. Now, what did I do? So there's an extra set of chevrons, extra set of exhausts. I'm not exactly sure what I did with these, but I don't think it really matters. Um, oh, you know what? I think I did this. I think I just plugged them in here just purely for aesthetics. It's not working. No, it's not working. Well, I'm not going to take that off. So let's just put it on here for now. It doesn't really matter. Um, come on, come on. So we got that. Oh, and here's my favorite part. My favorite part of the build. So once you add that, then you add that, you get this like <laughs> fake illusion that she got these like little horns or something like that or pigtails on the top. So when you take a picture, you can have her line up like that. and it looks kind of funny. <laughs> That's my favorite part actually of this build. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, there we go. There we go. Double axle grease in all her glory. And um, like I said, it is a remix of uh, Dr. Oblivion's great, great build. Check out that uh, tutorial on the channel too. And also for more of his stuff, yeah, check out TFW. And uh, you can find him there like in the fan mode section. 
And um, yeah, yeah. I will talk to you all next time, okay? Thank you so much for your precious gift of time. Bye.